World of Wonder Shorts 15 PvE Enemy Gameplay PvE Enemy Spawn Device Place the device at a specific location to spawn up to 20 PvE enemies or AI. It's absolutely fab to create a zombie onslaught. Let's see how we can create PvE gameplay in the Adventure Zone. Step 1. Understand the PvE enemy spawn device. Search for the PvE enemy spawn device on the Gameplay Device tab. After placing it, this location will become the spawn point for PvE enemies. On the editing panel, creators can set up the PvE enemy type, their behavior, and other various aspects, such as how many at a time, number of respawns, respawn method during battle, and more. Selecting PvE enemies, large and slow, armored zombies, armed zombies, exploding zombies, and huge zombies. They're big targets that are easy to hit, and their attacks are quite slow too. These are more suitable for beginner stages. Human-sized These include regular zombies, jumping zombies, and spewing zombies. The difference between regular zombies and jumping zombies lies in their movement, while the difference between spewing zombies and regular zombies is their attack method. Known for its damage at close range, spewing zombies are capable of launching venom attacks at players across short distances. When encountering spewing zombies, you need to be cautious and maintain distance. Small and fast zombie hounds and crawling zombies. Not only are they difficult to hit, but crawling zombies can also reduce the player's movement speed and deal damage upon making contact. These are more suitable for different stages. Attack behavior and respawn methods. After selecting the PvE enemy type, creators also need to set the PvE enemy's behavior and respawn methods. Their behaviors include pursuit, guard, and waypoint control. Combine different respawn methods with trigger ranges to set up PvE enemies with different uses. For example, link the waypoint device with PvE enemy spawn device and select action activation as the respawn method in the PvE enemy spawn device. Then set up the following. When player passes waypoint, then activate PvE enemy spawn, as well as set PvE enemy behavior as pursuit. Make the activation range greater than the value of the waypoint device. This will allow PvE enemies to automatically pursue players when they pass through the waypoint device. Furthermore, you can also set the maximum concurrent spawns and maximum number of respawns in the editing panel. For example, if maximum concurrent spawns is set to 1 and the number of respawns is set to 10, then the device will only spawn one PvE enemy each time. After the PvE enemy is eliminated, it will respawn a single enemy, a total of 10 times. After understanding the basic properties of the device, let's check out the next step. Step 2. Detailed Adjustments for PvE Enemy Attributes Tap the Overall Match Management button and go to the PvE Enemy Attributes tab. Creators can make more detailed adjustments to PvE enemies. Besides the basic adjustments for body size and color, other important aspects like enemy health, attack damage, movement speed, and damage it can withstand can all be adjusted. Furthermore, creators can also set the probability and amount of supplies dropped when PvE enemies are defeated. These adjustments can help creators fine-tune the difficulty of their creations and best make their ideas come to life. With that, you've now mastered the basics of the PvE enemy spawn device. Aside from the PvE enemy spawn device, the AI spawn device can also help creators with making PvE gameplay. The difference is that the AI spawn device spawns AI players and humanoid PvE enemies that can use firearms in battles. The two devices are not mutually exclusive and can be used to make all kinds of creations, such as challenge stages and survival battles. Therefore, creators can combine and make use of the devices to create multifaceted PvE gameplay. Hurry and try it now in PUBG Mobile!